Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In this video I will explain some basic physics to you, uh, which you can easily make use of in your base in different occasions. As you can see I have created two little uh, tubes here and the inside is covered in gases, actually very hot gases because I want those gases to stay in its gas form, so to say. And every tile has a different gas in it, as you can see. The pressure is also the same for each one. And on the right hand side I have done the same, but for 26 gases, 26 in height, that's uh, the overall amount of gases in the game, 26 gases. Uh, but a lot of them are very fancy and do not often occur on your base, so I decided to do, um, let's say, a tube with the 10 most common gas gases in the game and also uh, the 26 that actually could potentially occur in your base. So I'm going to go through the 10 most uh, common gases first. As you can see, they have sorted themselves in a very specific order. And in physics, uh, this order would be defined by the density of the gases. Uh, the gases with the lowest density would end up on top. And the gases with the highest density would yeah, gather themselves at the bottom of <laughs> the atmosphere, so to say. Um, yeah, and for the 10 most common gases, you might already know that hydrogen of course is the lightest one, uh, it is followed by oxygen, polluted and regular oxygen so to say, then we have natural gas, somewhere in the mid we have steam, also sour gas will be somewhere around the, the middle of the atmosphere or the center of the atmosphere, uh, then we have phosphorus gas, we have chlorine and at the very bottom we have carbon dioxide. But there's one more gas that could potentially occur in your base as well, that is nuclear fallout gas. And that's the heaviest one from, let's say, the most common gases in the game. Uh, for the rest of the gases, I don't want to go over them in detail. You can look it up in the help and I will also uh, yeah, explain that in the description of this video. But there are some uh, interesting things I would like to have a look. Uh, let's at first compare uh, the 10 most important or most common gases with the overall uh, gas layout. Of course, hydrogen is in both cases the lightest one. Then we have oxygen for the 10 most common gases, but we have polluted oxygen and that's kind of a surprise for the rest of the gases. And that is because I had to look that up in the wiki. That is because uh, Polluted oxygen and oxygen, of course, have, have the same density, and therefore it's kind of randomized which one ends on top. So uh, this will probably mix around a bit. You can often see that in your base as well, where polluted oxygen is just going to be mixed with oxygen without creating specific layers of each one. Then we have natural gas. That's also in the same order here. And below we have steam, still staying the same, sour gas, phosphorus gas is the same. Then we have chlorine, of course that's going to be the same. We have carbon and nuclear fallout is very down the bottom here because it is a very heavy gas, so to say. Uh, let's go maybe through one of the more heavier gases here. We have lead gas at the bottom. That could be interesting because lead gas has a good thermal conductivity, you can easily make use of that. And also this one uh, yeah, has one of the lowest condensation points for every metal at just shy above 1700 degrees Celsius. So this could be of interest. Then we have gold. Also we have super coolant, which is one of the heaviest gases. This one also has a very low condensation point of just 400 degrees Celsius. So this one could actually occur in your base and you can easily make use of that. Um, but the use of uh, this layout is not the topic of this video. I will basically refer to this video in the future when I make some automation and sorting guides for different gases, which yeah, 
will base on the information provided by this video, of course. Let's check what else we got here. All the metal gases seem to be very heavy and at the bottom, as you can see, steel, the first one, not non-metal, is probably salt here. And rock gas is also very heavy. Ethanol is already somewhere in, in the center of the gases. And then we have le very fancy gases. We have propane. I've never seen that in a regular <laughs> gameplay of myself. We have carbon, of course. You can see that carbon is one of the heaviest out of the most common gases, but overall it is one of the lighter gases already, or at least somewhere in the center. Same goes with chlorine. Sulfur gas, that one could actually also occur in your base. It has a pretty low condensation point of 337 degrees Celsius. And then we have a lot of the regular gases we already through then, except for carbon maybe, but that's also one of the more fancy gases as you can see here. So I hope this is gonna be helpful in your future gameplays, you can easily make use of that. As I've already said, I will go through this in future videos, so stay tuned and yeah, see you soon hopefully.